the Storm Team 8 Tracking Center. This is a winter weather alert. You know, all week we've been talking about this snow headed this way on Friday, and we were talking about how the arrival time is going to be very late. Through the day today, we saw it advancing, and we knew it was going to run into dry air. So we've been waiting for the dry air to finally erode and the snow to make it to the ground. We're seeing that all across West Michigan. Grand Rapids, Allendale, Muskegon, Holland, all reporting snow on the ground, and it's going to stay steady. As mentioned, we have several hours of snow. We have some heaviest snow just off to the south near South Bend, but this entire system is going to swing through, and that's going to take some time. It's not moving that quickly. So by the time we get to about 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, we should start to see the snow settle. And through that time frame, we could see some heavier bands. So right now, we have a heavy band that's rolling through the heart of Holland, stretching down through Wayland, just south of Hastings. And this is all advancing off to the northeast. So if we put this in motion, you can see that heavy band is continuing now into places like Grand Rapids. Once this heavy band moves in, you could see accumulation rates as high as an inch an hour. And although it's on the leading edge, it's coming down so quickly and our temperatures are starting to cool enough that I do think we're going to see accumulation stack up even on some roads that might have been a little warmer today. Here's a look at the winter weather advisory officially through 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, widespread three to six inches expected. And if we look at just one of our future cast models, you can see that there will be a range. So not everyone is going to see just three or just six. I think a lot of us are going to be close to five inches of fresh snowfall, but there could be just one or two locations that exceed that slightly. Looking at the future cast and walking you through your overnight, still steady snow by the time we get to 4 a.m. By the time we get to sunrise tomorrow, the snow continues. So plows are already out there. They're going to have to play catch up. And by the time we get to around 11 a.m., we should start to see some lulls in the snow, and that should really allow some of the plows to take advantage of that and get some of the roads clean, especially the main roads. By the time we get to around 3 o'clock, we should see the last of this system. So Friday evening, cold but quiet. And it's looking like no snow for Saturday. Now, along with the snowfall overnight tonight and tomorrow, as this system swings through, it's going to be breezy. Sustained winds around daybreak tomorrow, 23 miles per hour. In contrast, looking at the weekend, Saturday, 34 degrees with some sunshine. Look at the wind, only five miles per hour. So if you're a snow lover, you've been hoping to get out snowshoeing just one last time. Saturday looks like an exceptional day to do so. And then Sunday, we actually get a fresh coat of snow. Temperatures close to about 32, 33 degrees. We're not expecting as much accumulation for Sunday. Once again, look at the wind speed. Only at about five miles per hour. In sheltered locations, you might not feel the wind at all. So even though we're dropping down about 10 degrees colder than average, it will be pretty favorable for the weekend. Some snow on Monday, sunshine Tuesday. We stay cooler than average through Thursday and Friday. But the flake size that's coming down right now and the timing of this means that chances are pretty good for a snow day tomorrow, I think, for the kids. Yeah, it's already looking like it out yeah, there. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ellen, so. thank you.